Good day, kids! Our subject for today is science. And today, I will discuss to you about open and closed circuits. I am Teacher Lani. Most essential learning competencies infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. In the previous lesson, you have learned how light interacts with different materials. You also learned that optics is the study of refraction which refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. Reflection which refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Absorption that refers to a material taking in of light and not reflecting it back. And transmission that refers to the passing of light through some materials. This time, you will learn the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Look around your house. How many appliances do you see? How many are currently plugged into your wall outlets? Most households have several devices that make use of electricity. The number of appliances that you have at homes show how important electricity is in our everyday lives. How does electricity flow to your appliances? Two conditions must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Look at the illustrations carefully. Simple electric circuits. The picture above shows an electrical circuit which has four parts. A source light bulb, wires, and switch. What is closed circuit? Closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete, allowing electricity to flow through it. In the setup, a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery while the other wire is attached to the positive end. Both wires are attached to the bulb. While open circuit, electricity does not flow because there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. The switches that you see at home are electrical components that can make the circuits of the lights in your homes open or closed. So to turn on the lights, you have to close the circuit by pushing the switch on. To turn off the lights, you have to open the circuit again by pushing the switch off. The activity that you are going to perform will clearly explain the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Learning test number one. Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. Title, Construct Your Own Circuit. Materials, one 1.5 VAA battery or any battery available at home. Small bulb, copper wire. Procedures, note, handle the materials with care, especially the bulb. Number one, connect the materials as shown in the diagram. Observe what happens. Two, Remove the switch connection. Observe what happens. Questions. In your setup, the switch and the wires connect the light bulb to the battery. Number one, what happened to the bulb after you connect the switch to the wire? Why? Two, what happened to the bulb after you detach the switch from the wire? Why? Learning test number two. 
label the parts of the electric circuit. Learning task number three, label the following circuit with open circuit or closed circuit. Learning task number four, draw an example of open and closed circuits. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Five points. The drawing represents a clear understanding of the concept. Four points. The drawing represents a somewhat clear understanding of the concept. Three points. The drawing represents a quite clear understanding of the concept. Two points. The drawing does not represent the concepts learned. One point. The drawing lacks detail. Learning test number five. Write a brief essay with at least five sentences on why it is important to switch off appliances when not in use. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. Five points. The main idea stands out and is supported by detailed information. Four points. The main idea is clear but the supporting information is general. Three points. The main idea is somewhat clear but limited supporting details. Two points. The main idea is not clear and limited supporting details. One point. The main idea is not clear and has no supporting details. Let us find out what is the difference between open circuit and closed circuits. Open circuit, there is a gap or no complete path from one end of the circuit to the other end. While closed circuits, it makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. During task number 6, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. Number 1. It is the source of electrical energy. A. Battery B. Switch C. Wire D. Bulb Number 2. It is a circuit where electricity cannot flow. A. Open circuit. B. Closed circuit. C. Battery. D. Switch. Number 3. It connects the light bulb to the battery. A. Wire. B. Source. C. Open circuit. D. Bulb. Number 4. It is used to open and close the circuit. A. Switch. B. Source C. Circuit D. Bulb Number 5. It is a complete path of electricity. A. Closed circuit B. Switch C. Circuit D. Open circuit Thank you kids and have a good day! I am Teacher Lani.